Hello, welcome everyone. Today we are at Freya's Wish where we have lots going on. We've got Tombola, we've got a bouncy castle for the kids, we've got face painting, we've got glitter, we've got life bands all day. We also have the open to our charity shop up the stairs, which has been a huge success. So thank you so much for all your support today. Thank you to everyone who's donated the Given side, where we could give away clothes for free and toys and everything else. And everyone who's helped donate for the Tombola. We've got really good prizes here today. So we are on 22 to 24 Jura Street. If you are free, come along and join the fun. Why did you start Freya's Wish? Um, I started Freya's Wish because when Freya passed, the one thing I was grateful for was the memories we have together. And unfortunately for a lot of people, you can't create their memories. And I had to work three jobs, trying to start a business and everything just to achieve those goals. Um, but that's exhausting. Not a lot of people have that drive or just nothing else to do very much, but <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, everybody's all into materialistic things, but that doesn't go with you when you pass. So I think it's so important that families are creating happy memories that are affordable um, and coming together as a community um, because it's the only thing we're left with at the end. Why did you volunteer for Freya's Wash? Because it was my granddaughter that we sadly lost last year. Um, so yeah, we're just all doing our bit to help. So why did you volunteer for Freya's Wash? Well, I'm granddad, for starters. Um, she, she came to me and uh, said, Grandad, we're, we're doing this charity thing. And she'll be doing it from uh, a hairdressing shop not too far away from here. So I says to her, um, hey, we're going to do some, let's do a big. So I shipped around, spoke to my friend who owns this building, and he gave us it for free for five years. Um, and then we took it from there. Um, and I'm so proud of her, what she did up to date. Her and, her, her and the whole team are amazing. Totally amazing girls. Um, it was the right thing to do. Um, Brooke's, Brooke's my girlfriend, so obviously I wanted to be part of anything uh, to do with Freya, of course. Like you know, So she wanted to do this and I was going to be there to help her 100%. Um, so I started volunteering at Freya's Wish because Freya's dad is one of my friends and I didn't originally know Brooke. I felt like I didn't know how to support Robert, so helping Brooke was a way of helping Robert. Um, Freya's Wish has actually helped change my life. It's helped me with my anxiety, be more confident. And what we are doing for the community is amazing and loving memory of Freya. Freya's my niece and Brooke's been my best friend for my whole life. I've known each other for nursery and being a part of it was just a no-brainer. Oh, there was just nothing to it. I've known Brooke since I was five and Freya was more like my niece as well. And this whole thing is to keep her legacy going. She created all this giving side to the unfortunate and people with money, so we want to keep that going. Um, my little girl um, was in the year, a couple of years below her at school and they all played together. So my wee girl had like, she was friendships with Freya. So yeah, I wanted to help out just cause that meant something for my little girl as well. And um, for like family and stuff, so yeah and Brooke's a great girl as well. Um, so I met Brooke and Freya just around uh, three, four years ago in 2017, and just, as I've already said on my fairy profile that we put up on the page, they just have both had a, a huge lasting impact on us, and the impact Freya had at such a young age on everybody, and she still touches everybody, as you can see today, is just unbelievable. And I just wanted to come and be a part of that. I've always been passionate about helping other people, and there was no better way to get involved than helping Brooke out, and just, I'm, I feel so honored to be able to be part of it, to be honest with you. Why did you volunteer for Phrase Wash? Well, I feel like it's not really why. 
it's more when because I was never really like a question, I just knew I would. So I just started working with Freya's Wish as soon as Freya's Wish happened. <laughs> as soon as Brooke made it happen, I started working here. Uh I know that you are a major part of the build and volunteering for that, so what did you actually do for the build -in? Yeah, well, most of the construction work here. Um, in, in my past, I was a stage carpenter. So, and things like this is just kind of easy for me. So I take it in my stride and give them a wee bit of advice on how to do things. Um, and we'll just work together. We're here today to support Brooke. Um, we, we, we've known Brooke for, for a, quite a long time, actually. She's came to support our uh, mission at, at Hillbank Church um, at the Lighthouse. Um, an absolutely fantastic girl. She brought Freya along. Um, we offer support to um, people who need help, basically. And Brooke would come along and do free haircuts. Um, a very, very lovely girl. Yeah. Uh, so what brings you here today? Well, Brooke's her granddaughter. So, and we lost Freya last year. And it's just good for everybody to catch up and do something for the bairn. That's basically. Uh, this event being built by uh, a group of young women, uh, what's your opinion on how much they've achieved today? Oh, they've achieved a lot. They've done really well. For what, they've, what they've got in there, everything, it's fantastic. Go Shari, it's your birthday. We're going to party like it's your birthday. <laughs> right, okay. Are you ready? It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> Is this the vibes we're doing? We'll sing later. I know it's, it's your birthday today. How do you feel that you know, you're doing something fantastic of volunteering rather than just... <laughs> Rather than just like cel doing a traditional celebrating of a birthday, so how do you feel that like you're doing something purposely for your birthday? Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, like I didn't have any plans for my birthday, but I feel like when you don't ask for anything, you get everything. With that, no, isn't it? It's your birthday today, so how do you feel that you're? doing something incredible and helping a friend with the charity rather than just celebrating your birthday? It feels beautiful. I feel like Freya sort of gave Brooke the, uh, what's the word? Inspiration to do it on Demi's birthday because Brooke forgot, obviously, with everything going on. Yeah. And then she like, it's the 12th of June. So I feel like it was a thank you from Freya to celebrate and have a, a big party like this for my well, my girlfriend Emma obviously volunteers here and it's just to help Brooke out, you know, she's done amazing stuff so far. Everything that she's done is just like off her own back, there's nothing, there's just people are just so generous around here and they're doing such amazing things and it's just nice to be part of it, isn't it? So, when are you getting your butterfly tad, uh, paint? Hopefully very soon. <laughs> no problem. Well, thank you very much. You've also been helping with the building, like, can I ask, like, what have you been helping with with the building? Like? We, well, me personally, I've just been bringing in clothes, toys, whatever it may be, and my wife, she done the floral sort of tributes on these hangers there, and basically, that's it. We're just trying to help every way, every little way you can. Uh, have you got a special message for Brooke for today? Um, no, I just love her so much and she knows that yeah and we'll always be here and she knows that have you got any special message for brooke today i'm just so proud of her the um, the, the the things she does are just totally totally amazing she's just a great kid um and she's, she's just going to do good for other kids and that's our objective um so really I'm just so proud of her. Have you got a special message for Brooke for what she's achieved today? Uh, well done. <laughs> but, so why are you so emotional today? Yeah, it's, it's a very emotional day for the whole family. Um, just so losing her Freya. Um, you must be so proud of your daughter for what she's achieved and all that. Yeah, it's very strong. 
yeah, I love you so much, Brooke, and I'm very proud of you for all the hard work and the time you've put into this whole project, considering what's happened. Uh, you've, you've, you've worked your ass off, and uh, I know that this thing's going to kick off and it's going to be a great success, and uh, I'm just very, very proud of you for being able to, like, pull yourself together and do something as, as good as this. Helping other people when she's going through the hardest time of her life is... Uh, extraordinary for her to be able to do something like that. So yeah, I'm just very proud of her, you know. Have you got any special measures for Brooke and her team for what they've achieved? I, I think they're absolutely fantastic. I mean, look at all of this, you know, it's absolutely amazing. I would just say, keep going, Brooke. What an inspiration. What a woman, you know. Freya was lucky to have such an amazing mum. She really was. So thank you. Just, uh, there's, not, there's not many words that we can use. She just surprises us day in day out just absolute more than an inspiration and just what keeps all of us working hard here to do something like this today and just thank you for having us be a part of it and just keep keep doing keep being you just keep doing what you're doing and you know there's lots of amazing things to come after today so um it's a difficult one um i'd love to say i can understand but really i don't i don't think anyone will until they've been through what she's been through but just to keep her head up and to keep working hard and keep going she's doing a fantastic job and um yeah i'll just continue to grow if she keeps working away at it so well done to her and the rest of the team yeah she's done amazing since like i've never seen anyone so strong for everything she's went through um so yeah good honor for her and keeping that smile on she's doing really really well and I'm proud for what she's done, especially making this charity shop and all that to help like the vulnerable families and that. It's a really good thing that she's doing. Brooke's the most inspiring woman that I know um, to go through grief and to lose her daughter and to create this with us helping her. Um, my message is that to keep being strong, keep being you. I love her loads. It's my granddaughter. I love her. That's it. Well, it's just to keep doing what she's doing. It's amazing. You know, you would never think that you could just, it's just a bit of, it was a little girl's dream to do all this stuff. And it's all just sort of just happened, you know, like obviously they put loads and loads of work in, but it's amazing to see what they've actually done and just keep doing it. Like, don't give up on it. Uh, have you got a message for everyone who's voluntarily helped you achieve to the point of where it is today? Um, you're all fucking awesome. <laughs> Um, no, everybody's been great. If it wasn't for everybody supporting this, it wouldn't be the size it is. Like, we only started this not even a year ago, and it's already grew so big. Um, everybody's all kind and generous. Um, but Freya was a very bubbly character, and she met most of the people who help out. So, um, yeah, you're all great, and I love you. <laughs> Team HQ. <laughs> Well, today's event is awesome and very, looks very fantastic. And everyone we've interviewed today has given so much support to you and what they've said about you has been so, so proud of what you've achieved. So I say thank you for giving more hope to Dundee. Thank you. Where the fuck's mine? <laughs>